Mm. Moving over to the receive now of the Amstrad 901. So this radio is now, it's already receiving, that's one microvolt, that's 0 0.3 of a microvolt. So we'll see whether we can uh, just improve on that. I'm using a Synad meter and an oscilloscope. And we'll start with transformer 5. But I'm, I'm just going to set the uh, detector first. So we're putting it over 100 microvolt signal. And the detector on these radios is transformer 11, which is under the wiring harness here somewhere. It was there the last time I looked. Because chances are that's way out. There we go. So having adjusted T5, we'll move down to T8. I'll just drop the volume. Oh, you won't hear me over the uh, receiver. They're normally very sensitive, this, and this is no exception. So now putting a, 10, a 100 microvolt signal back on the radio, we're now going to set the S meter, which should be reading S9. And it's reading plus 30, so we just need to back that off slightly. So we'll just adjust that one. I think it's RV2. I haven't got my crib sheet with me today. There we go. Actually, that wants a bit of a, a clean, so we'll just use the service sole switch cleaner and waggle it around hopefully you can just see that we're on S9 there and if we go to plus 30 I just want it to be able to show plus 30 so we'll just have another go at that that's it, that's got it right So that now covers it, with, apart from the squelch, we need to do the squelch on it. Now this is what works well on the, on the Japanese genuine Amstrad and doesn't work well on the, um, certainly not on the cheap copy version. So you know there's two Hong Kong versions and one's a, a pirate copy. You can tell that, when it, um, but I've got one here. If you compare the boards here, if you look on the, this one, you can see on the printed circuit board all the legends of the components put screen printed. And if I compare that to this copy, the board is just blank and it uses poor quality components. So that can be the difference. That's a, a scrap that we don't normally do much with those. So they really do our uh, really poor performance on the squelch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set turn the squelch to minimum, we're going to turn the signal generator off. We're going to set the squash, the squash threshold, which is there, and then we'll just switch the generator back on, and the squash comes in. That's 0.3 of a microvolt. Now we're going to advance the squash to full on the radio. That's now full squash, and then advance the signal generator to see when that comes through. Well, it never comes through, so that isn't how we want it to be. So what we need to do is just back off the squash. And if I can just find the preset, it's just lurking down there, which I'll just zoom out so you can see it, is there. Now we'll run that test again. So signal generator off, squelch to minimum, advanced squelch to threshold. and switch the generator back on, that's coming in at 0.3 of a microvolt, turn the squelch to full, 
and that's coming in at 30 microvolts. I'd actually like it coarser than that, so we're going to have to try again. So we'll just advance that control. I'm going to clean it just in case that can be one of the problems with it. It's a bit of a faff doing this. But you want it to be right, or it's very frustrating. Frust I can't even say that word. No, I haven't been drinking. There we go, that comes on at 100 microvolts. So now we'll try that test again. Signal generator off, squelch to threshold, generator on, it's coming in at 0.3 of a microvolt, squelch to full, and it's coming in at 100 microvolts, which is S9. So that's now set, that's ideal, and next we'll put it on the air. And that concludes the Amstrad 901 genuine Japanese version.